Hey guys, this is Nolan with my Bring Back. I'm going to show you how to use GarageBand. And to start with, I'm going to show you one of the songs that I've done just to get you, you know, familiar with the kind of stuff that I'm going to be doing and the kind of stuff that you can do with GarageBand. This song. You might already be familiar with this. So that kind of sounds like one of them songs from uh, the old Ninja Turtles movies. Okay, to begin with, you're going to want to open up GarageBand, so click on that, and then go to a Piano. That's what I like to start with. Hit Create. You have all these things you can select here. That doesn't really matter because we can manipulate that later. So here we are. GarageBand. What I like to do is open up Musical Typing. So what you got with Musical Typing, you got a keyboard that uses the keyboard on your computer. So you also have the the sustain that makes it sound a little bit more reverberated. You also got Modulate up here, which Makes it sound modulated. I don't know if I want to use that piano there. I'm gonna change it to a. I'm gonna change it to a synth lead. Change it to solo star. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, now that one's starting with the modulation. So I'm gonna shut that off. See how that sounds. Okay, so we got that going. Now what, what I like to do is I like to turn on the count in from the control tab and that gives you a, uh, a count in when you hit record so you know where to start. So we'll give it a count in and definitely going to want to do that at the beginning. So we'll give it a count in and see what I can come up with here. Okay, so there we got kind of a, and to stop, uh, to pause the recording, to stop the recording, you just hit space bar, that's what I do. It's one of them keyboard shortcuts. So you got kind of a simple type of a deal there. Uh, what you want to do is, you're going to want to have that not sounding so human. Like you want to have it kind of exactly in rhythm. So you hit Command A, and to open open that up, you just double click the track region, and it'll bring this up. And you hit Command A, and you hit Quantize Note Timing, and then you hit whatever rhythm you want it set to. Now I'm using whole notes here, so you go to whole notes. So that's one over one. So for every four beats, it kind of it snaps it to the beginning of the measure. So let's see how that sounds. It sounds a little bit better when it's... And you can shut the metronome off, but when you're recording you might want to use that. It's a little bit easier. Let's let's get a drum beat in. Not a drum beat, but let's... I'll show you how to make a, another instrument. You can go up to track there and hit software instrument. Or you can hit Command Option N, and that'll also do it for you. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go, and and then the next one, I'll show you how to make a beat, and we can go from there. Thanks.